I am Fernando Martinez. I'm a Mexican show jumper. I'm 32 year old. I am the fifth Fernando Martinez. We have, we're, I'm the fifth generation. So yeah, I'm guessing if I have a kid in the future, it's gonna be Fernando as well. Even my grand grandfather was into horses, but it was just a different discipline. It, uh, it was a little bit more ranch. And, uh, and then my grandfather was into the jumping. I remember since I was a kid, I, I had a passion about horses for sure. Uh, so I was asking my parents all, all the time to, to be around the horses that I wanted to go and ride. And, and my father was a rider himself. He was an amateur rider, uh, but he quit riding because he needed to work and stuff. So it was quite easy for him to to support me back in the, uh, getting the horses because he, he loved it himself. To be one of the few Mexican riders in the globe, is, I mean, it's, it's a dream come true to me. It's quite easy for me. Uh, we, I just get married. We, we, it's, my, my wife loves the horses. She's also a rider herself. So it's easy that we share this passion. Every sacrifice, to say it this way, for doing that sport, it was actually something you really wanted. So in the end, it was not a sacrifice. And, and my job is to do my passion. So it's what I like the most. So I, I would say, yeah, for sure, you're far away from the family, friends, but, but yeah, the, the, the value and, the, and the, the excitement to be in these shows, for sure, is it, it, priceless. I was always dreaming to come to Europe and be a rider and be in the top sport. So, yeah, even though I think, I feel like I'm just getting started, I hope I can, I can keep, keep it up and, and get the results. And yeah, I'm very, very excited for what's coming in the future. Fernando Martinez Sommer, still going strong. First to clear with Charlie Harper is then now a clear coming up with his high five. He's got all the time in the world and he's in the Grand Prix, he's in the jump off. It is round after round, it is clear after clear. This man is riding on a cloud and look at that smile. I have big goals, big expectations. I, I would love to be part of the best riders in the world, you know, and I, I would love to have a medal one time in the Olympics. And uh, yeah, I have a lot to work on. I still have a lot to improve. Um, but yeah, my goal is to be part of, the, of those top 20 riders in the world one day. For sure have big expectations and big goals, but I have a lot to work for. The level of, of these shows is unbelievable. I'm really impressed. Like the, the, as you can see, the jump offs are always flat out. And now we can see more and more often that the, the times are equal, you know, it's really competitive. Uh, any stride out, any, Small detail is going to make the difference, so I think I think you cannot get better than that. Yeah, I think I can reach a, a podium this this season. Everything needs to be aligned, but hopefully, yeah, one day I can I can get it. Yeah, I'm proud. I'm proud of myself to get to this level on my own because I needed to find my way, needed to find the horses, find the knowledge learn to develop them, learn to choose them. Uh, I was far away from Europe and you need to find the horses here. I always find my horses and buy them when they are young. So for sure, I'm very proud that I find a way to do all of this. And being now in Europe, I realize how much I need to know, how much knowledge I'm lacking. Everything was a little bit about, yeah, just simple, about just the feeling and nobody tells you a little bit what are you doing wrong? What are you doing right? What do you need to improve? So in the end, being here and being in these shows, you really realize that that much theory and that much uh, things that you need to improve in the flat, in the jumping, in your position, you know, this fine tuning that you need for, for get up there to the top sport. Marlon Sanotelli is helping me. He's, yeah, a fantastic guy, really came out of nowhere. Uh, to help me, he started helping me a little bit in Doha, saying some details, and I've learned more in two shows that he was around than in all my life, so. I think it's a great circuit. I think it's really organized, so it's, it's really easy for, for our teams also to be part of it because they help you with all these logistics. Um, always, you have great stables. The most important thing is, is that we have a good footing. Uh, this you can avoid a lot of, of injuries and, and everything. 
So in the end, every rider that is around the global has a great team, a great management, and they are taking well care of them. Uh, definitely makes it great, a great uh, tour for the horses. I always try to manage a very good trip to the show. Most of the times when it's a long show, I try to be there on time. I like to have the horses fresh, you know, and, and that they feel fresh in the body. Uh, for me, it's really important that the horses move a lot, so I, I like to walk them a lot. So most of the time I try to find spots where the horses can be walking and then they have more blood circulation and they feel better and every stress from the trip is it's out. To be honest, I'm maybe in the ring two, three times a week. Uh, just to do some exercises or whatever for them because you need it for the sport. But the rest I try to respect a little bit the horse part and, and to, to let them be th these horses. In the end I think as a rider what definitely me is this horsemanship that I have with my horses that I try always to have them as much as horses, you know, as possible and not like, uh, yeah, like like athletes in the sport. I try to just add the sport part to, to their nature and, and for me keep the horses happy and, and in their nature is the most important.